Winners, butt kickers, champions in life. Vincent and Sam Rose here with H2G Fitness coming to you from behind the wheel of my car. Great day to you, my friends. Hope everyone is having a good one. And uh, if you stay here in the Houston area, I hope you were all right through all the crazy rain that we got here in San Antonio and Austin area. Right? Texas got hit pretty hard, but neither here nor there. I wanted to record a real quick video for you guys. I had a well, this comes up a lot, right? Um, regarding people that are starting their fitness journey. They, uh, you know, <laughs> you give someone a meal plan, you put them on an exercise plan, you put them on a cardio plan, and all is well, they start dropping weight, and all of a sudden, right, weight loss stops, and immediately they wanna know, what did I do wrong? What am I doing wrong? And I messed something up, what's going on? And uh, I wanted to address that, look, it is not a matter of if you plateau. It is a matter of when you plateau, right? Your body is highly adaptive, right? And if you are somebody that's interested in fitness and your fitness goal is to decrease body fat, understand this, your body is going to fight you in the process of doing that because naturally we are more efficient at storing fat not burning it. <clears throat> We're more efficient at storing energy, not burning energy, right? And your body wants to store up this body fat just in case you are ever in a scenario where you do not have a food source available. You have reserves in the tank for your body to survive, right? It's how we are designed, built, engineered, that deal. So you pick a fitness goal of trying to make your body do something that it doesn't want to do. And you can do it, but you're gonna get some resistance, right? Your metabolism is highly adaptable. You'll set your meals, calories, workouts, cardio, everything's going fine, and your body will start switching hormones and stuff around and start slowing things down until eventually you hit a plateau and you hit a wall and you stop losing weight. And when this happens, for weight loss anyways, um, you have three options, right? You can decrease food, you can increase activity, or you can do a combination of those two things. Decrease calories, increase activity, or do a combination of both. And then you'll start losing weight again. And then you'll plateau again. <clears throat> and then you have three options. You can decrease calories, you can increase activity, or you can do both. You'll start losing weight again. And then you'll plateau again. And then you have three choices. You can decrease calories, increase cardio, or increase activity. And this process happens over and over and over and over and over and over again. Now I'd like to just throw out a number for you guys. So that way for those of you who are pursuing this whole weight loss deal, you don't become disheartened in the process and you know what to expect. When you know what to expect, things become predictable. When things become predictable, it's easy to become emotionally stable. When you're emotionally stable, the process is much more pleasant. And when it's much more pleasant, you'll actually enjoy the journey instead of being an emotional wreck all the time. And one day you're up, one day you're down, depending on what the scale did that day, right? You should expect to plateau every seven to 10 days. Every time you make a tweak and break a plateau, you got about a seven to 10 day window before your body shuts down on you again. And then you gotta make another tweak. And then you got about a seven to 10 day window before your body shuts down on you again. And this is the reason why when people come to me and they ask me for help, I tell them what I do in my coaching program, tell them the cost of it, and they say, well look, what if I don't wanna work with you on a month to month basis? Would you just design a meal plan for me? How much would you charge me for that? Well, you just give me a meal plan, forget all of the coaching stuff, just give me a meal plan. And I will do it, but I will first explain to them, the meal plan that I give you will only work for the first two to three weeks, and then after that, you're gonna need an entirely different meal plan because it's going to stop working. It's going to have to change. So I just need you to understand before I charge you a premium for an hour's worth of work, and you pay that deal, you need to understand you're paying for about two to three weeks worth of results 
and then you're gonna need more help again if you don't know what to change on your own. So I have to educate people on that kind of stuff. So again, plateaus, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. You didn't do anything wrong, it's just what your body does. Whenever you do plateau, it's because you're trying to make your body do something that it doesn't wanna do. And the way that we get it to do that, Increase, increase activity, decrease calories, or a combination of those two. And once you bust, break, smash through your plateau, you got a seven to, seven to 10 day window of results. And you're gonna completely lock up again, and you better know what you're doing, or have a coach that knows what he's doing to help you continue along the way. Hopefully this has been beneficial and easy to understand. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, ideas, any of these things, just leave them down in the comment section below. So with that, over and out, Vincent Rose, H2G Fitness, the future is right. Something good is happening. Sam, you got anything to say before we get off here, buddy? Yes. What do you want to say? Mr. Hopkins. Mr. Hopkins, you're going to school right now? Yes. You going to play with friends? Yes. You going to have a good time? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. So have a good day, everyone. Yes. Smile a bunch. Be friendly. Be happy. Something good is happening. Show your muscles, buddy. You guys take care. Be blessed. Over and out. Peace.